Hello guys, welcome to Achieve IS. My name is Ayush Mithi. In this video, we will talk about space governance. Space governance. The topic is uh, the part 33 of our Achieve IS Meanings program 2020. The file has already been uploaded on our channel. Uh, you can search for it on our channel on Telegram. Let us move further and uh, we'll talk about space governance what is the need for it and what are the present challenges in our space domain so whenever we talk about terrestrial maritime and aerial warfare we all know about the warfares in the terrestrial maritime and aerial space but whenever we talk about outer space it is the most underestimated because it is now becoming the arena for competition and rivalry surely it creates uh, many challenges for us and the world as a whole like uh, space domain is increasingly now becoming complex congested and competitive and contrasted because you can see the growth in number of space faring nations nowadays many uh, countries are launching their own space satellites spacecrafts along with the private sector such as uh, spacex uh, which is based in usa uh, you can see continuous advancement in technological and operational capabilities and uh, now space has the bigger role in national security calculus uh, growing opportunities for remote sensing and potential for space mining like uh, it can create a space warfare for the resources in the space we have some space security threats as well like increasing cyber threats to space assets through hacking or other satellites interference we have heightened collision probability due to congestion because nowadays we have a vast number of satellites and players so that so it can cause a um, you know collision it can create accidents and it can also uh, present the challenge uh, for uh, space debris space debris can be a bigger challenge for us and, uh, and uh, entry of new players also create a threat a uh, visible early trends of weaponization of space that's also a bigger challenge uh, threat of uh, overwhelming radio frequency waves spectrum by large satellite constellations inadequacy and weakness of existing international bodies and treaties uh, we have five uh, international treaties for uh, our space domain but uh, they are inadequate and weak legal void internationally with respect to proper right property rights traffic regulation criminal code and enforcement agencies in other words we don't have proper rules and regulation for traffic for traffic for criminal code or enforcement agencies uh, space assets are dual in nature that means you uh, feel difficult uh, you feel you will feel difficult to uh, uh, distinguish the satellites from the military purpose and civilian purpose so it can create a bigger challenge of space warfare because states can be falsely accused of causing damage to other states assets without any significant proof so these challenges must be tackled by some efforts one of them is uh, the space environment instead of becoming competitive it should become more collaborative now the players will increase so the more the players the greater will be the competition for resources the greater the need for common objective fair rules of road and shared decision making processes we need this greater the need for common objective fair rules and shared decision making process please remember then you can use them for your main answers so all countries must come together they must reach a common understanding of basic building block of governance such as general principles of good behavior they must take effective measures to improve safety security and sustainability of space activities we surely have to improve uh, implement the transparency and confidence building measures which is termed as tcbms for plims 
you have to uh, understand that uh, we have UN committee on peaceful uses of outer space which was set up by the general assembly in 1959 so it was instrumental in creation of five treaties and five principles of outer space so in present we have five treaties for our space domain but as i already told you these are inadequate and weak we have to make them stronger conclusion is uh, we need a constructive and uh, pragmatic approach uh, uh, which is uni uh, also a universal and inclusive forum and a transparent process uh, these are the need of the hour to ensure space users can derive mutually beneficial gains shoulder responsibility and ensure sustainability of space you have to remember the keyword sustainability of space mutual beneficial gains and uh, constructive pragmatic approach universal and inclusive forum and transparent process these are the keywords which will help you to fetch extra marks in your mains exams uh, for your prelims you must know about the project netra which was started by indian space research organization isro the project netra is all about space situational aware which means we have to protect our satellites from attacks like cyber threats space debris or uh, space debris is uh, the fragments or the a junk of satellites uh, which are posing significant threat to our present operational satellites so project netra is all about protecting our satellites from space threats uh from prelims uh, perspective you have to also know about various programs initiatives launched by many countries like exo mars which was launched in 2016 by europe and russia's cosmo uh, ros cosmos agency also we have tianwen 1 which was launched by china's first it was china's first mars mission it was launched from long march 5 heavy rocket also you have listened about venus express venus express was launched by europe european space agency european space agency okay venus express also we have uh, Catalina Sky Survey Catalina Sky Survey is to discover and track near earth objects near earth objects N E O S near earth objects it was launched by uh, NASA you have also listened about Hope mission see Hope mission uh, is the UAE's first mission to Mars uh, it will create first integrated model of Mars atmosphere it is also called as emirates mars mission also we have sunrise mission launched by nasa and uh, uh, we have uh, new wise project of nasa new wise new wise i have already told you about uh, uh, new near earth objects so new wise project is all about tracking near earth objects which was launched by nasa okay you have to remember that now we have uh, europe's cosmic vision 2015 to 2025 please write that down 2015 to 2025 cosmic vision by europe space agency also we have nasa's 2024 artemis program Uh, which will launched first women and the next men on moon by 2024 also nasa launched lunar lu challenge lunar lu challenge the lunar lu challenge is all about solving the problem of human waste management in space so lunar lu miss lunar lu challenge is uh, r- associated with the artemis program and both have been launched both will be launched by nasa so these are some missions for your prelims and these shorts are for your mains the file has been uploaded on our channel please look for it thank you